Three Lexington families have a heartbreaking question. Where are their loved ones buried? Each family says their loved ones had services. They bought plots at Cove Haven Cemetery on the city's north side. But after several mix-ups, they fear where they paid their respects may not be the right place. Steve Butera filed this report earlier this evening. To not be able to come up and decorate or do anything, it's been hard. It's a struggle Michelle Combs, Elizabeth Garner, and Jen McNeil all have. And I mean, we didn't even know each other. Not knowing where one loved one is. This is the spot where my son's supposed to be. But they tell me he's there. But instead, for three. And my husband is 6'6". Six, six. There's no way they said this is a spot. These women say they're questioning where Combs' son, Garner's husband, and McNeil's mother are all buried. Each had unrelated deaths, and each woman mourned on plots at the Cove Haven Cemetery, only to be told that's not where they're laid to rest. At one point, these three families were told their loved ones were in the same area. The people that dig the hole, and they said it's a, it's a mistake. We're sorry. Your son's not there. I miss my baby every day, every day. He was 19. I miss him every day. And to come out here to see that is heartbreaking. Combs buried her son in January, only to be told on Memorial Day weekend that's not where her son is. We tried contacting the owners and managers of Cove Haven Cemetery about the problem. The director of the Hawkins Funeral Home, who says spoke to the cemetery officials, say there was a miscommunication between the people digging the grave sites and the person marking them. Garner says she can't put her husband's grave down. I mean, I want, I want peace so I can put my husband's tombstone down. I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't put it down. And for McNeil, who says after placing a grave for her mother, they had to remove it because of the reported mix-up. And she asked them, what are y'all doing? That is my mother's headstone. And they said that they were moving it to the back. And now these women want answers. Where are their loved ones and what happened? Questions they hope will be answered soon. Covering the news in Lexington, Steve Butera, LEX 18 News. We're told by the funeral home director they'll be meeting with a grave digger next week to make sure graves are marked.